As of uh, this is Lazy Mode and welcome to today's video guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get end game unlimited infinite amounts of materials and currency. This is going to be extremely important for you to level up your weapons, for you to unlock every single armor, every single piece of gear from your character, from the end game concept of the game. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated and let's talk about the end game, infinite, unlimited, pesos, monedas, and all the materials your heart can sire. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget guys, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. If you like first person shooters, you're in the right channel, so make sure you stay tuned. Let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. So I have seen multiple videos kind of going over the same concept here, but they, they seem very vague. They just tell you do this, do that. They don't really explain exactly what you're doing. So I wanted to make a better concise video and explain why this is extremely important. Not so important in the early game, even though if you do this early, you'll get a head start when it comes to that end game. So what we're talking about, guys, is going to one of the encampments and heading to these board called Los Bandidos. Now, this particular Los Bandidos board is extremely important. One thing I would recommend if you guys are planning to start this up is make sure you guys go to your encampment and you level up the uh, Los Bandidos option, which is going to give you the ability to have multiple recruits and multiple leaders. In addition to that, guys, you're going to want to know exactly how you do these missions because I've seen so many people explain this and extremely explain it wrong. So I'm going to show you guys and share with you guys all the knowledge I've been able to get when doing these missions. So these particular guides are side missions that you're kind of almost able to AFK and just simply by starting them and coming back to the board when the timer is over and completing this, you'll be able to get end game currency. Now, what is end game currency? I don't guarantee it's anything that has to do with pesos monedas anything that has to do with industrial components industrial circuits and of course one of the most important things that you probably don't know gunpowder yes gunpowder is extremely important in endgame and that's really cool because you don't have to sit there and wait for this to finish you can just run them as soon as you log in start them up go do whatever you want and then come back in whatever amount of hours this says that this is going to end so i'm going to explain exactly how all this works as you see right here guys once I complete this one, it's going to give me 48 industrial material. Once I complete this one, it's going to give me 750 monedas. And of course, all the currency is going to go up. Now, you're able to unlock these slots. The more you do these, the more slots you're able to unlock. So this one, you need to complete 10 more. For this one, you need to complete a total of 30. And you'll be able to unlock, of course, you want to unlock them as quickly as you possibly can because you want to be able to do as many as you can. So now that you understand the concept, you're going to need to unlock leaders to be able to do these. Now, it's extremely important that you understand how the leader system works so you can better the odds of you actually being able to complete these missions. As you notice, when we look at the leaders, each leader has a represented icon. For example, this is the survival uh, icon. This one's the surprise icon. Then we have the inquire icon. We have the smooth talker icon, the sabotage icon, the ghillie suit icon, the reckless icon, and the sniper icon. These icons are going to represent the missions that are going to be beneficial for that type of character so for example this one we have four options we could pick from we could pick four uh, so it's going to allow us to pick one but theoretically speaking uh you know any of these four will do very good in this mission this particular mission had one specific character this one had two specific characters and each mission that you're trying to unlock will tell you exactly what uh, what character is used so it says useful leader skills ghillie suit right if we go to this one it'll sell useful leader skills sabotage smooth talker so basically it's pretty easy and it's kind of a little bit self-explanatory you just got to match the leader's icon to the uh to the mission that you want to do now the question becomes this laser okay that's cool how do i go about actually completing this we'll do one real quick and i'll show you guys a couple ones that i've done where you get a lot of currents now the main question you guys should be asking is laser how do i unlock all these characters today i'm going to explain you how to unlock them and i'm actually going to show you the maps on how to make things easier for you guys because i've seen a couple of videos that tell you unlock them here do this but they don't tell you where to go to actually get the completion so i'm going to show you guys exactly how to get all that stuff done so now that you understand the concept let's do this one real quick so you guys can get an idea of exactly what it is that we're doing Basically, guys, the main thing here, look, okay, industrial components. These are high-end end game content. We want to make sure this one has a 95% successful rate. Let's go ahead and start it up. So we got that. Now you guys see that we already got those 15 components. Super easy without doing anything. Now, look, another very high one right here, which we have 10 of these industrial components, industrial circuits, and we have 500 pesos. Now, this is going to be a risk because if you have a lot of this, 
you might as well risk it to get the uh, get the components because it's going to be extremely important for you guys to be able to get this. So let's risk it. Let's do it. Even if we lose it, we, we you know we don't really lose nothing, and we actually got it. So we got the rewards there. So we got two industrial, ten industrial, ten. Uh, now we got another set of fifteen right here. One hundred percent completion. Let's do that right there. And you see how easy that we got thirty of these. And 10 of these circuits and we on top of that we get 750 pesos super easy it didn't take too long and the cool thing about this you can actually just start these up and let the timer run out and then come back and check what they are once you complete one then you get another chance of starting another one so if you want to go ahead and get medicine and once you exit the screen you'll see there industrial circuits industrial components industrial components and that's 750 in pesos super easy to get all you got to do is come to the board and complete now how do you get each character? Let's go ahead and talk about that. Okay, so we're going to start it with the first one, which is I'm pretty sure all of you guys have is Benito. Benito is the starter leader. You're automatically able to obtain him doing the prologue. So as soon as you finish the prologue, Benito will be part of your inventory. Next one, guys, we have is Alfredo Maximo. Now, Alfredo Maximo is going to be kind of that late end game uh, character that you get once you're completing the story. You're going to have to complete a main story mission called the Lion's Roar. And once you complete the Lion's Roll, he is going to automatically unlock for you guys. So pretty much for this one, keep playing the game until you complete the Lion's Roll and you will unlock up for the maximum. Next up, guys, is Freddy Jr. Now, Freddy Jr. is actually a very interesting character. He's going to be part of a yarn story that you're able to obtain by completing the story called Stealing Home. Basically, what you need to do is, guys, make sure you get the object to spawn for you guys. So you hover around the map and get it right here where I'm showing you guys the location. Head on over there. You're going to go up here at a baseball field. You're going to talk to Freddy. Freddy's going to tell you, you know what, guys? I need you to locate and do me the favor of locating my my papa's, uh, you know, old baseball stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to head on over there to the, each individual section, which are F&D bases. My suggestion is instead of having to find the guard with the key, just capture the base because you're going to have to do it anyways. And then the door will automatically open for you guys. And you'll be able to find his jersey, his baseball mitt, and his other attire. Once you get all the attires, you come back, you talk, go to the shrine where Freddy's shrine's at, turn them all in, and you will be able to not only unlock cool gear for, for Freddy, but you'll also be able to unlock the Freddy Jr. Bandito. So really cool and effective. He is a sniper, so you're going to need him a lot. The next one we're going to be talking about is Isabella and Marisol. Now, both of these players are unlocked in the same mission. This is the one that I showed you guys earlier, the one that I highly recommend. You just got to do the story called The Wing and Prayers. This one actually you're able to do pretty early and get these two characters. You pretty much unlock both of them by just completing the storyline. I'm showing you guys the location. You guys know where to go and pick this up and you'll be able to get Isabel and Marisol. The next one, guys, is Big Poppy. Now, Big Poppy, you're going to have to locate him right here on this area of the map. He is super easy. All you got to do is fly over with a plane, skydive, jump, whatever you do. Just go to that location. As soon as you land to this location where I'm showing you at, you're going to trigger the Big Poppy and Little Yara event. And he is going to be able to tell you. You're going to have to defend him from attacks. Once you defend him from attacks, you will be able to unlock Big Poppy. He is really, really important. He has the reckless skill and the speed dimmit. Now, the last one we have, guys, is Sergio. Now, Sergio is kind of a little bit tricky because you could probably miss this one. Sergio, you have to complete the Yaren Skari called Tricks of the Trade. In order for you guys to complete the Tricks of the Trade, you're going to have to complete another story before that. So you probably have that story already unlocked called Undercover Stud. And do the Undercover Stud, and then that's going to unlock the Tricks of the Trade mission. And then all you got to do is escort a captain from a base to the river. Once you escort him to the base of the river, he's going to give you the tricks of the trade. Then come back, complete the tricks of the trade mission, and then you're good to go and unlock Sergio, which is your ghillie suit one. The last one we have is Senya. Now, this is going to be a little bit more complicated because she's going to ask you to paint stuff in the town. Now, with her, it's going to be a little bit tricky because there's actually two major missions that you need to complete before you even get her. So you might have not even completed this. One is called Paradise Lost, and the other one, as soon as you complete Paradise Lost, you're going to complete heavy metal. Now, these two go hand in hand. Once you complete the heavy metal, she'll tell you, you know what, guys, I'm handing over to Esperanza. If you ever go to Esperanza, let me know. Once you head over to Esperanza, you'll automatically hear the dialogue where she says, yo, I heard you came to Esperanza. What's up, brother? Hey, if you want to help me, help me paint these, um, paint these statues. Basically, it's super easy, guys. All you got to do is talk to her. She'll give you the location. She won't give you the location, so I'm going to put up this picture on the map and show you guys each location that you need to go paint at. So you guys don't have to go and search where those locations are at. So 
there you guys have it. That is how you complete that. Once you have them all completed, you've unlocked all the bandidos, and now you're ready to do more bandidos missions, which should give you unlimited end game currency and end game resources. I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and informative. You are doing the huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when the videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.